Hi, I'm Lori Degman, and I'm a picture book author. I've been reading my books on my YouTube channel for kids to enjoy while we're all stuck in the house. There's no school um, and no books or li bookstores or libraries open. So um, today I'm excited to be sharing my most current book, whose book birthday is actually today, and that is Travel Guide for Monsters, written by me, Lori Degman, illustrated by Dave Zolay, and published by Sleeping Bear Press. Um, and they gave me permission to read this on my YouTube channel, so I really appreciate that. Before I start reading, I just want to give you the backstory on this book. Um, several years ago, Colin Jack, the illustrator of my first book, One Zany Zoo, contacted me and asked if I would want, want to write a story about having good manners on public transportation. And he wanted to use monsters because he loves drawing monsters and he's really great at it. So I tried. I wrote a couple different things. I just I couldn't get anything that felt right to me, and Colin wasn't happy with them. So we decided let's just forget it. You know, I I, I just put it aside because I just couldn't make it work. Then several years later, I thought about the story again, and I thought, what if I focused on the locations of where the monsters go as opposed to how they get there? And that's how I came up with Travel Guide for Monsters. So I wanted to give a shout out. Colin Jack, um, because he gave me the original idea, and um, I tweaked it, but it was still, if it weren't for him, I don't think I would have thought of this. So thank you so much, Colin Jack. All right, without further ado, Travel Guide for Monsters, written by me, Lori Degman, illustrated by Dave Zillay. Look at this cover. I love it. I just absolutely love it. There's a lot of details in here, so if you have a chance to look at it in person, check out all the details. These are the end pages that show, it's like a scrapbook, show all the places that the monsters went. It looks like a, like a spiral. I had to feel it because it looks so real to me when I first got it. Anyways, here is the dedication page and the copyright page, but I love that, the, the um, direction signs, mountains, ocean, valley, and flames. Just so many cute touches in this book. And here's the title page. Travel Guide for Monsters, written by me, Lori Degman, illustrated by Dave Soleil, published by Sleeping Bear Press. <clears throat> Here we go. When traveling with monsters on a trip across the nation, this guide will give you tips to have a marvelous vacation. While riding on a cable car, your monster should be cautious. The ups and downs of Frisco Hills can make a monster nauseous. If strolling down the boulevard you see some famous stars, it's fine to ask for autographs, but don't pick up their cars. See how he put a border around each of them with like a design on the back that goes along with the theme of where they're at? And there's a vehicle, either usually up here or on the side here, um, and the name of the state. I just love how Dave did this. It's so much better than I, I could have imagined myself. Your monster may not understand the canyon they call Grand is not a hole to play with, and it can't be filled with sand. You're likely to get thirsty when you hike up in the mountains. Make sure to warn your monster that those geysers are not fountains. Our nation's parks are beautiful with wide, expansive spaces. You better take a head count. There should only be four faces. When you're in the Windy City, you can catch a baseball game and try to find the kiss cam for your 15 seconds game. This page is special to me because I live um, just outside of Chicago, and I am a Chicago Cubs fan, so I like that one especially. Your monster may feel sleepy after eating home-cooked vittles. He'll get a second wind if he can hear some country fiddles. Amusement parks are lots of fun. Play games or take a ride. But have your monster measured to make sure he fits inside. Down south among the Everglades, your monster should wear waders when playing Marco Polo with the 
crocodiles, and gators. You'll know you've reached the ocean when you can't drive farther east. Your monster needs to understand it's not his private feast. In Washington, our capital, you'll see historic sites. And should you meet the president, assure her he won't bite. If you visit Lady Liberty and tour her mighty crown, your monster may get dizzy, so remind him don't look down. When checking out a waterfall, your monster must behave. Don't let him use a boogie board to ride it like a wave. Your travels give you memories, your treasures through the years. But how will you explain your monster's crazy souvenirs? Look at all the things that the monsters brought back from their trips. Life-size versions. Usually souvenirs are shrunken down versions of what you see. And then Dave added this at the end. I didn't know he was going to do this, but I love it. It's the map showing the 13 stops that the monsters make across the United States. So this is a good way to learn about some places that you might want to go or to remember some places that you've already been on vacation or just places you might want to read more about in books. And then again, here's the end pages. And then on the back, he has a compass rose. It shows the directions of all the different vehicles that he had along the edges of the pages. I just love how Dave um, illustrated that book, and I hope you guys enjoyed the book. Um, as with my other stories, I have an assignment for you if you want to do it. Think about a place that you've been, or a place you might want to go, or a staycation, things that around your town or even at home, where you could tell a monster how to behave. Think of a of a, a rule that a monster should follow. And it can be in rhyme, it could be in prose, it could be one sentence, it could be five sentences, however long you want to make it, and then draw a picture of it and send it to me at lori at lauridegging.com. And I will personally answer every email I get. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Um, and as with my other stories, you'll see that this story was interpreted in ASL that was done by um, an interpreter where I used to work and I used to be a teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing and she volunteered to interpret these story times for you so I really appreciate um, her help and that's it hopefully I will see you soon I hope you enjoyed the books go look for my other uh, five videos and um, look for the assignments on the video and listed at the bottom of the page so that you can send them to me. I'm looking forward to seeing them. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.